And we'll start things off here with Brad Goodrich. Well, Brad has had a great week all week long. He's roped good. His horses work well. And right here you see why. Good fast run with his hands. Good run. 8.9 seconds. Johnny Emmons now also 8.9 seconds. And Johnny Emmons is riding a horse of Herbert Terrio. It's called Junior. Good solid run right here. Has a little trouble gathering the calf. Still makes a solid run. And speaking of Herbert Terrio, here he is. 9.8. The cap on his side has a little trouble flanking him, and right here, seconds are so crucial. All the money will be won between uh, one-tenth and two-tenths of a second. This is Moy Tate, 9.5, good enough to get him to the finals. Well, remember, when they go from this semifinal into the finals, everybody is back at zero, so just getting in the top four is important. And last but not least, the veteran, Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson's been in a position to win national championships, world championships, it seems like his whole career, and this is why, right there. We're ready now for the finals in the calf roping, and probably the early on favorite bush would be Johnny Emmett. Well, I think he would be. He's the kind of guy that he can be real fast once he gets his hands on a calf. We'll start with Mike Johnson. Experience probably in his favor. A lot of experience, and of course the first guy out, he can really put the pressure to these guys to his calf quick. Now he just needs to hurry and get him stung, and there you go with a good tie. Great run right there for Mike Johnson. Eight straight national final appearances. He has won over a half million dollars doing this right here. Well, he's an excellent calf roper. Holds his slack, gets down his rope a little quicker, gets to his calf just absolutely perfect. Gets him down on his side with an 8.3 right there. What a time. One wrap and a half hitch. Good job. 8.3, a new arena record, and that takes us to Moy Tate. Well, the pressure's on all the rest of the crew now. They're looking at 8.3 or faster. It didn't bother Moy, though. Look at this. Wow. Came right back out and attacked him right there. Well, what a run for Moy Tate. I guess pressure doesn't bother him. Now, let's watch this run. Things look real fast. Again, he was looking at an 8.3. Holds his slack, much like Mike Johnson. Gets to his calf, about the same spot. Gets him on his side. Now, we'll watch. One lap, a half hitch. 7.8, and another new arena record. And that puts all the pressure now on Brad Goodrich. Well, it sure does. He's watched two great runs. I talked about a little earlier about his calf. He wasn't real happy with this particular calf, said he was a little tougher than the other calves. Had a little trouble there stringing him, too. And, it, and these calf ropers, in their mind, the clock's ticking away, and it seems like hours, I think, when they're trying to get things in a hurry. They just get in speed jams. Right here, Brad knew he had to make a great run. Watch him, he gets his top rope quite well, but as you see, he left a little early, breaking that barrier. And here's Johnny Emmons trying to beat 7.8 seconds. Well, he's got his work cut out for him. He's been in positions like this before. He's able to do this sometimes. He's a fast calf roper, has trouble swinging that calf right there. Now the wraps go on, and I know in, my, in Johnny's mind, the time has run out. Johnny also breaks the barrier. Butch, take a look at that right here. Well, the barrier actually is a piece of string you'll see stretched across in front of Johnny. Now, the string around the calf's neck is tied together with a small piece of string. When the calf is out there, say, 12 feet, it trips the barrier in front of Johnny, and if they come too soon, it's a 10-second penalty. It was a great finals, back-to-back -back arena records. Maury Tate, 7.8, finally comes out the winner.